When the summers get hot and dry, and there hasn't been rain for a while, farmers have to get creative about how to keep their crops freshly watered. It's especially important that these new seedlings get water or we'll see significantly lower yields. One of the ways we irrigate our crops is with this machine called an irrigation reel. It's essentially a glorified giant sprinkler. First our crew has to lay out pipe at the site of irrigation. Since these pipes are made from aluminum, they're not that heavy and they can easily be carried with the help of two people. The pipes fit together like a giant jigsaw puzzle and they ultimately lead to the source of water, the well located between the two trees in the video. These pipes must be disassembled and reassembled every time we have a new section of the field to irrigate. We use couplings to connect each of the pipes together. They have to be greased with a special paste to keep the seal tight. At the end of the final pipe, we attach the hose, which leads to the irrigation reel. This looks like a giant fireman hose. Then we pull the irrigation reel into position. We have to line it up exactly so that as the hose unrolls, it goes in a straight line down the field that we want to irrigate. Next, we attach the sprinkler attachment to the giant black hose on the reel. The sprinkler attachment will later be pulled out into the field and will slowly unwind the black hose. There's a lot of hose coiled up on that irrigation reel. It can stretch out for hundreds of feet. Surfing anyone? So the beauty of this machine is that once the irrigation pivot gets to its location, we turn on the water and it begins to spray the field with water. The irrigation reel slowly pulls the hose back towards itself and rewinds, pulling the irrigation pivot slowly across the field and watering the crops at a set pace. We share this irrigation reel with our father-in-law, David Bench Farms. We source the water from the well next to our property. It's got a strong, powerful engine that can move that water down the pipes quite a distance. Once the well's turned on, we turn on the motor of the irrigation reel. Let's see if the water rolls. Kurt makes a few adjustments, and sure enough, the irrigation pivot starts to spit water out into the field. And there you have it, folks, a giant farmer sprinkler. Now our precious corn can get the water it needs. To see more videos like this one, visit our YouTube page at Shared Legacy Farms.